China Studio City is a sustainable luxury hotel, casino, and entertainment venue. Inspired by the golden age of Hollywood, it cost over $4 billion to pack this resort full of all the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. It's home to one of Asia's largest water parks, as well as the world's first and highest figure eight Ferris wheel. Its origami-inspired construction makes it one of the world's most unique buildings, and it's such a big deal that three of Hollywood's biggest stars made a movie promoting the venue. Let's head to Macau and explore the next generation of world-class entertainment. Studio City Phase 1 Located on the Cote Strip near the iconic Lotus Bridge, Studio City is the world's most impressive cinematic-themed resort. Macau wanted absolute luxury when it came to their Hollywood-inspired design. Nothing but the best would do, so they splashed out $70 million, creating a short film with some of the world's biggest stars. The audition premiered at the Studio City Grand Opening in 2015. Directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio, the 15-minute film found the Hollywood actors portraying fictionalized versions of themselves, for which they were reportedly paid $13 million each for less than two days' work. To this day, it's one of the most expensive ads ever made. But that's just the kind of fanfare this project deserves. Studio City isn't only a luxury casino, hotel, and resort, it's also one of the coolest buildings in all of Macau and has features unlike any other in the world. Macau is the 48th tallest city in the world, the 35th tallest in Asia, and the 23rd tallest in China. It's projects like Studio City that are slowly building its reputation. Reaching a top height of 499 feet, the Hollywood-themed resort is the first in Asia to integrate movie and television production facilities, gaming, retail, and hotels all in the same epic complex. It's majority owned by Melco Resort and Entertainment, and its subsidiary, Studio City International Holdings Limited. They splashed out $3.2 billion on phase one of the project, which is being designed by the Goddard Group. Studio City features an Art Deco-inspired design that serves as a canvas for its many fabulous facilities. The building was made in collaboration with Warner Brothers and DC Comics, so it showcases iconic characters like Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Children and children at heart can enjoy a 40,000 square foot children's playground called the Warner Brothers Fun Zone and an assortment of exciting theme park rides. The resort even features simulations and immersive tech. There's a tech-based virtual reality entertainment zone called Legend Heroes Park, as well as Batman Dark Flight, a 4D flight simulation theater attraction. If by any chance guests get bored of these innovative entertainment experiences, they can sit back and enjoy performances in a 5,000-seat arena or take it easy at either of the indoor or outdoor pools. For more high-adrenaline activities, they can check out Studio City's indoor and outdoor water parks. Phase one of the project is made up of two hotel towers with fitting Hollywood-inspired names, Star Tower and Celebrity Tower. Star Tower in particular is rated five-star by Forbes Travel Guide and houses several award-winning restaurants. Some of them even have Michelin stars. In addition, this tower hosts concerts and sporting events. Guests can catch some rest and relaxation at the Zenza Spa, party it up at the Pachamacau nightclub, or enjoy over 1,200 gaming machines and about 250 gaming tables at the casino. The world's first figure eight Ferris wheel. Studio City encompasses everything from the practical to the out of this world. Sure, guests have access to fitness centers and meeting rooms, but they can also enjoy a trip on one of the world's most unique amusement park rides. This is the Golden Reel, a massive figure eight Ferris wheel. The resort's two hotel towers are connected by this marvel of construction. It's the world's first and highest figure eight Ferris wheel, located on the hotel's 23rd floor, about 426 feet up in the air. In keeping with the hotel's theme, it was designed to look like a giant 33mm film reel. Guests board the 23rd floor and are loaded into one of the ride's 17 steampunk-themed cabins that hold up to 10 passengers each. The Golden Reel is a 15-minute ride that costs about $100 per person, but with incredible views of the city and sea, every penny seems worth it. Oh, and did we mention it's not just the tallest figure eight Ferris wheel in the world, it's also the highest Ferris wheel in all of Asia. Now that's the kind of show-stopping feature we'd expect from a Hollywood-inspired resort. A luxurious rooftop water park. 
Studio City's not done being impressive though. The hotel's water park is another feature that took some clever designing. Because it's not just any water park, it's a rooftop water park, and it's one of the biggest in all of Asia. Studio City's epic outdoor water park opened in 2021, and it's complete with the allure of gold and silver rides. Built on the rooftop of the resort's casino, the placement of the park is incredibly unusual because it takes some extra careful planning and execution to pull off all the mechanicals, piping, and water containment needed without running the risk of a disastrous casino flood. The water park's look and feel needed to align with Studio City's theme of Hollywood glamour and what screams golden age more than actual gold. Two of the park's slides, the Storm Chaser Gold and Storm Chaser Silver, feature proprietary metallic paint finishes on their fiberglass exteriors, so they aren't actually made of precious metals, but the effect is one of opulence, and they're the only water slides in the world that have achieved this shimmering metallic effect. The metallic finish is hard to pull off on rides such as this that are constantly getting wet, but this park has managed to master the technique to keep its slides from chipping their paint and losing their shimmer. Beyond the high-class slides, the park features a variety of exhilarating and family-friendly water slides and attractions, from interactive games to tubes, lagoons, and places to take it easy. An indoor water park is currently under construction, so guests can have fun in any weather. Studio City Phase 2 The indoor water park is part of Studio City's expansion project. With an estimated cost of $1.2 billion, Phase 2 was appointed in 2017 and is currently being built. Designed by Zaha Hadid Architects, the almost 2.7 square foot development will introduce new leisure, entertainment, and hospitality facilities to the already impressive complex. There'll be a six-screen cineplex, extensive conference and exhibition spaces, and two hotel towers with 900 rooms and suites. This expansion will even add an extra 230,000 square feet of shopping and dining and over 24,000 square feet of gaming space. But perhaps what's most interesting about this project is its unique design. All right, be honest. Which part of Studio City would you visit first? The Ferris wheel, one of the shimmering water slides, or are you heading straight for the cinema? Leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of our other videos on the best mega projects breaking ground right now. Thanks for watching.